Hey guys, welcome to day seven on the Locked in 30. And today we're gonna to talk about prep for your best. And when I talk about prepping for your best, is like, what do you do to start your day? We all have different stresses that we go through, whether it's environmental, maybe it's physical stress from, from physical activity, maybe it's mental stress, just being exhausted, but maybe today's your day off. But either way, what are you doing to prepare for your, for your day? You know, what are we gonna be exposed to? A lot of us, um, you know, it doesn't just start in the morning, actually, when you wake up, it starts the day before the week before you should prepare them, but even years before, but you know, what are you doing right when you wake up? And out of our core four, and I'm gonna talk a little bit more on the nutrition side. Uh, I'm actually about to go to the gym, but just show you what I do. I'm on morning routine before the gym. And this is actually something I actually do every day, but uh, I do my, my super fruits. And uh, I don't know if you think about super fruits, but if you compare apples and oranges to super fruits, apples and oranges, about a hundred nutrients, super fruits, a thousand nutrients. So the nutrient content's a lot higher, a lot more concentration. Um, I go through a company called Pure, People United are reaching everyone, but uh, just in general, it's just a way for me to get my, my, my fruits in, um, something healthy. I don't do a lot of sugar, so these are all 100% pure extract, and then I do what's called Daily Build. Uh, it's got over 200 ingredients. I was out of the liquid one, so I'm doing the capsules today, but uh, more or less uh, just high impact of nutrient content in the body so that, you know, as I'm getting my day started, I'm, I'm ready, prepared, <laughs> you know, getting ready for the, the stresses that are coming at me as far as uh, in this case, physical, but uh, so my super fruit uh, power mix here, I always do about eight ounces. Like I said, it consists of the Goyen for the, I don't know if you saw it live, I did it before on Goyen, but Goyen basically balances your pH and hormone levels. So decrease stress, decrease anxiety, more or less just a feel good drink. So you just feel chill all day. So that's the cool thing about that. Um, it's got over six to eight servings of vegetables and fruits and oxygen equivalent. So high impact nutrient content. Then I do my uh, my fusion, which is basically a mixture of acai, mangosteen, uh, noni, and then uh, um, a goji berry. So the each one has its different purpose, but in general, for me, the more nutrient content you can get into your body and feed that, you know, to start the day with, then you can uh, combat all these different stresses that you experience throughout the day, whether it's physical, mental, or environmental. And that way we're, we're combating what we were talking about earlier when we were doing the, the fitness map and talking about all the different things that cause the acid buildup in the body. So. We're going to dive in and then I'm going to show you real quick uh, some of the stuff that I do just in the morning preparing for the gym. But anyways, I'll knock that, knock that down in the morning, get ready to go. Uh, this morning I actually, uh, you know, like I said, going to the gym, so I already, already, <laughs> already took my stuff here, but uh, a little ahead of the game, but I also do what's called adapt. And so way to adapt into your, to your, uh, your day here, it's actually a... Uh, an herb out of Europe, a mushroom that's they when they take it from the the ground, it, the decay, and then they dehydrate it. It's full of a uh, nutrient content, more or less, to help with physical, environmental, and mental stress. And so it also oxygenates the body so that you can um, basically work out longer and harder. And then uh, I want to show you just real quick. I'm not going to go in depth in all this right now, but I want to like show you my routine. So you're, uh, I want to dive in deep and, and show y'all this is what I do, and you know what's your routine getting ready for the day. You know, what does it look like for breakfast? What does it look like for lunch? Um, you know, for me, I take, usually I take my, my breakfast and lunch with me because I go to the gym first, so I eat after at work, and then also I'll take my lunch with me. But um, uh, for most of you, I don't know, you probably haven't heard the history of this, but you know, one of the, my friends has started a company with the co-founder Nike Nutrition Company, and you know, I've just followed their routines for years because they do a lot of alternatives to medicine. So really, honestly, other growing up, you know, when I talked about my story with the headaches and migraines, I did take Excedrin, for that, and it was one of the biggest things that helped me get off the um, off the uh, medication or the, the Excedrin for the headaches and migraines. I never was a to, I wanted to take medication. And I think so many people it's just so easy. We have a symptom or something you want to take something. Uh, so I always try to use food or plant based. Um, so honestly, and other than that, when you know going through through school or college, you know not taking any medications. That was the only thing. Is if I had a headache or migraine, I would take that. You know, since being on this, it's helped a lot. You know, I maybe get them every once in a while, but not near like what I was going or going through before. But so for me, with this uh, with this program, you know, what it's helped me, you know, when I'm educating on some of this stuff about the the stress and how it builds up in the body and what some of the foods that we eat and the symptoms that we get. You know, I've never, I haven't taken any medicines in the last ten years, and so that's knock on wood. But it's one of those things that you know, I feel like it's been you know more of a blessing, but also just a way to go out and help educate other people and say, hey, you don't, you know, I've never been sick, I don't miss work. And so if if you're really more attentive to your body and the more what you put into it, then you're not having to worry about, 
getting sick or getting allergies. I know I was around, you know, especially back in Texas or here in Florida, you know, people talk about getting allergies or having where they have dry eye or there are different symptoms in that. Well, that's what like, for example, in the, with mangosteen, it's got the uh, different factors in there to block the inflammatory process in the body, but also decrease allergies or, you know, just different stuff like that. You know, pain, when we're talking about pain medication, there's different things in here that, you know, I take it because it helps with pain. I've had, you know, from working out or just, you know, knee injuries from sports to help decrease that amount of inflammation in the body. So cool things that you can do once you learn this. And so I, I typically try to use that whole concept, food as medicine. So I'll give you a quick dive and I'm not gonna go in depth on this, but just show you real quick. Um, but this is my medicine cabinet. So I'll go anywhere from workout, pre-workout, post-workout to uh, all these have a different purpose, you know, from joint pain inflammation to uh, more or less uh, decreased acid in the body to the way our body functions. So I don't use all these at once, <laughs> but they all have a different purpose. And it's just learning to be a strategist. And I think that's what I want y'all to really get more out of this than anything is, is saying, hey, you know, what can I do versus having to rely on a medication for something? What do I do to start my day? Um, I personally like, you know, I'm big on salads. So a lot of you probably like, that's gross. I don't want to eat a salad, but you know, that's just, I, I, you just get used to it. And so for me, when I, you know, I was talking about the more green alkaline type foods you can put in your body. And then, you know, I, I like pecan. So I put that on there for the fat content. So every day at lunch, I have a, a big salad. So I fill up on that. So I'm always telling people, like, if you can fill up on the more alkaline and just shove as much alkaline stuff in your body as possible, then you're setting yourself up for success. So, um, I'm going to, I'm going to go more in depth on some of these, 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 these topics for y'all, but then also show you how that relates more in the performance and recovery aspect. But I want you to get a quick highlight of, you know, my morning routine. I know that was, a uh, you know, not, not every single thing I do. I still eat breakfast sometimes. Sometimes I'll have oatmeal. Sometimes, you know, a couple of eggs with toast with, uh, with almond butter. Uh, so every, every morning is a little bit different depending on what time I'm going to work, what time, you know, I had my workout, but usually during the week, it's like, go to work at, get up at five, go to, go do a workout, you know, take my, my pre-workout stuff and then go to the gym, eat after, you know, a lot of times I'll have a shake of, a uh, shake of greens, Mila, chia seed, and then, um, uh, a scoop of, um, uh, matcha. It's, a it's like, it's, have you ever heard of the matcha shake, you know, out of, out of uh, Starbucks, this is actually the, the ex, the, it, matcha is more known actually in Japan for the green tea. So a lot of different things, like I said, you're just countering your body with all these, these alkaline and tight foods throughout the day so that you, you're prepared for, you know, whatever's coming at you. So anyways, uh, hopefully that helps. And uh, like I said, I don't want to ramble on on this one, but I want to show real quick, you know, what I got going on in the morning. And then uh, maybe like some of these tips will kind of start sinking in in the strategy, more of the strategy. That's what I want you to get out of everything is, like how to be a, a strategist, so you're not sitting here having to rely on on the on the medications or maybe just in general things that are going to lead to that. Be like proactive, leading forward. So, anyways.